Millions of people around the world are becoming interested in investigating the paranormal. No one knows the consequences of provoking the unknown. In 2019, the home that inspired the Conjuring film was sold to new owners and opened for paranormal investigations. Strange events are being captured. So the uh, TV just shut up by itself. So I thought I would start recording. Hmm. It's heard like jiggling handle or something. Hello? Someone here? Did you shut the TV off? Hmm. I don't know. Strange. Let's turn it back on, I guess. Is by the door. Are you behind the door? I hear you out there. Thought I saw it move a little bit. Guys, welcome back to Sparks of the Paranormal. Tonight's episode is The Conjuring. That's right. Not the blockbuster movie, though, guys. We we're actually talking about the house that inspired that. It's 300 years old. It's still standing there in Rhode Island. The new owners, Corey and Jen Heinzen, have now opened the house to paranormal investigators. Reputation. Reports of demonic activity, reports of things flying. People all over the world have come to know this house. I have heard many people cannot help staying here for more than one night. Electronics just do not last here. You can take video and there's certain parts of the yard of the house, like they'll glitch. You know, the house is blessed in the past. It interferes with your daily life. Did you pack for two weeks? Yes, sir. <laughs> I can't believe we're staying there that long. I still can't believe we're doing this. You know, they told me nobody's ever stayed or wanted to stay this long. Are you serious? Yeah. Vera, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. We're going to meet up with our friends, Brian and Rochelle. It doesn't get any better than this. So we are on our way to the Conjuring House. Oh, oh, say it one more time. We are on our way to the Conjuring House. And we are actually going to go investigate with Kendall and Vera. Oh, oh. I'm 
Kawa Boom. <laughs>
I'm fixing this. Someone drew a pentagram on it, and Corey and Jennifer would prefer that it not be there. So Again. I'm getting rid of Never. it. Awesome. This is the most active room in the house. This is the room that Cindy Perrin stayed in. There were two sisters that stayed in this room, Cindy being one of them. And she was the one that got tormented the worst out of the five sisters. Everybody that's ever stayed in this room, like they lose track of time, flashes of light, shadows. Side pain. Which side is pains, random. which is weird. Well, the good thing, Vera, is that we're gonna be right there if you get uncomfortable can always get one of us up. We could document what's happening. Extra batteries for anything that we need. To me, it feels eerily uneasy because we don't know what we're walking into. Mm -hmm. We only know what we've heard and seen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've always wanted to do this. And how do you feel that now you're here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very nervous. I'm not going to lie. Hey, what about you, Kendo? Let me film you. For us, we want to just document the hell out of it. want to get every camera that we can possibly have. I mean, they have cameras. We have cameras. Like, let's just film everything. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's staying at a place for more than one night or two nights. We're living with them. Let's go explore the house. OK. This just fell out of this book. Ooh. What would be so amazing if I picked it up and it says, Bathsheba? Stop it. No. OK. The same being in the world. Well, don't repeat it. What if it's like... <laughs> this is exactly don't like Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> don't be the loud. I'm going to say it. Oh, my God, you guys. What's it say? Da same being in the world. OK, no more of that. No. This doll doesn't have any face, and those always creep me out. What about this, Kendall? What do you got? Kill, 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 kill. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lock me out. This looks like it's down to the basement. It just absolutely sounded like somebody ran away from here. And it backed me up. Like, I looked up at Rochelle like this to make sure she wasn't moving. She wasn't. She was talking to you guys. And then I backed up in this corner like this because it was absolutely like somebody just ran from here. Kendall, you want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it smells yeah. funky. Joel, it smells really funky down here. Ah! What touched me? What it, touched me? What touched me? Right. You're all right. You're all right. Ah! You're all right. This is freaking you guys. Are you serious? Something oh, touched me. me. Something <laughs> touched me. It did? No! Don't pull that. What is still living there? What? Shut, Shut up. Oh, my Dude, for real? Did 
did Cory and Jim put them there on purpose? I don't think they put them there. Oh my God, did that touch me? Dude, is that a mouth? Yes, that's its mouth. Dude, you can see its eyeballs. What is this? It looks like an old furnace, kind of. Don't pull that! Dude, come on. You Sorry, I didn't, Ow. I just couldn't resist. No way. This is the area where the kid would come down and talk to someone who apparently wasn't living. Oh, wow. I think there's a claim in this area that investigative team was in here and they saw what looked like a person come out of this room and had its neck snapped. Don't be talking about claims yet. <laughs> oh, dude. What is that? Whoo, it's like a, ref it feels like a refrigerator in there. Is this steps? Those are steps. Oh, does they go out to the outside maybe? Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Ooh. Hey guys, let's get the camera set up. Yeah. We'll check the angles in a minute. We got some 4K cameras with sound. We can see and hear what's happening in each room. I know y'all. Welcome to the party, man. You guys, I'm Anthony. Nice to meet y'all. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me. We thought this was a really awesome setting for uh, Corey and Jen to kind of give us the rundown on the house. When did you guys move into the house? Uh, we got the keys on June 21st of 2019. And I mean, we moved in probably around one o'clock and we had doors opening up like 1.15. We were moving in with gear before we were moving in with clothes and right. and stuff like that. I had a DVR system set up before anything else. It was profound, but at the same time where it's an old house, where were we just stepping on like certain planks? The movie, based on a true story, so you're already coming into the house and you're like, oh my God, who's gonna, who's gonna get thrown first? Who's gonna get bit? Who's gonna get that? We just took it easy because we didn't know what was here. What else happened? It was within the first week that objects themselves were moving. Which was exciting, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of what we wanted. It was just more or less waiting for that, okay, what's gonna be scary? We have been warned several times that something bad is still here and that it will eventually show itself. I've had my hair touched a couple times. I guess the most profound one was something felt like it grabbed my hips and I thought it was Corey, so I turned around to see what was going on and no one there. Then we see a shadow a figure. Shadow figure. Do you have any advice for us staying here tonight? I mean, this is our first night, you know, a lot of us haven't stayed overnight at a haunted location before, so you guys are like the pros here. I'm just saying, just be careful what you ask for as far as activity, because they will get your attention by any way possible.
tagging the MS mic. We just heard a noise sound like a door latch. Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. I slept good, but I was like almost like practically asleep, and something bumped my bed. That's what Brian. And Brian told me he heard me. So tonight, I think we rig this room up and we go to sleep. Yeah. Those sensors? Yeah, put yeah. the sensors on the stairs, Ooh. put the music box in the room. Yeah, about. this means sensor. <laughs> Cooking a little breakfast at the Conjuring house. You know, hey, that's a good idea. Taking a picture from the parent. We have cameras set up around the house. Do we want to put something that will light up or make noise in, in the vision of all these places? I say yes. I second that. We have the music box. That thing is creepy when you know you're the one who set it off. Yeah. I want the music box up in our room. How creepy will it be if we're all sleeping and all of a sudden this music goes off? We're gonna have to lay in our beds to make sure, because it detects motion, to make sure that oh. none of us set it off. Gotcha. Wave your hand in front of it to make sure it works. Perfect. If it continues to play, that's the scary thing. Yeah. That means it's standing there. And then if it goes off, it... That thing's accurate. What I like about this is that the range is not that large. They have to be close to us. There you go. So if it goes off, that means it's closer to you. We have several devices. These are just ways for us to be able to see, hear, communicate with you. Who's in this house? It feels heavy. It does. Pull that board back. I mean, look at that. They lowered a recorder with a plastic bag into the water. They got a defined EVP, some kind of electronic voice phenomena. I kind of do want to get down there, be honest with you. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Let's just do it. I gotcha. You Gandalf! <sighs> You're gonna get stuck in this. <laughs> give me the recorder. They got EVPs down here and in the water, they actually took the recorder, which we have right here. There, we have the recorder right here. And they've taken EVPs out of this well. So 
I thought I'd take it a step further and climb down in here and just kind of feel out the, the environment down here. Are you inside this well? Man, it is creepy down here. Is there anybody in here with me? Uh-oh, my light's freaking out. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, I'm done. Coming up, guys. It's just like a creature coming out of the ground. <laughs> <here. sighs> well. He got well. out and said, well. <laughs> So, looks good, all set there. Let's lower this down at the same time if we can. Remember the time to God darn, what was the time? It seems as if I caught a small orb like light mist. You guys said that you heard footsteps in our room like all night long. Oh yeah. Just a consistent
there's a space up there that we've never been into. I, it's It's got four screws that you can unscrew it and I'm sure you probably could climb up into it. That has to be an attic. We've just never been into it before. So we'll be the first ones to be here when you open it up. Let's do it, yes. So it's right in here. Yeah, so I think we just unscrew it. I mean, it could be nothing, but I think it would have to lead to something if it's a, if it's blocked off. Well, what's the worst that can happen? I'm gonna move it and then I'm gonna get out of the way, okay? All right. One, two. Ooh. Yeah. You're just putting your head up there and looking around. Like fing hell I am. Like, I'm getting up there. Yeah? Don't want your shoes to get dirty. All right. Do you want to get on my shoulder? You got it? Can I see the flashlight? Yep. Hey, Jen. Yeah. Here's the GoPro. Do you think we can get back there? Let me see what the floors look like. It, we definitely could size-wise. Okay. And it does go all the way both ways. It, it's almost like it separates in between each bedroom. Be careful. I don't know, do you think I should crawl in there? Let's see if I can get in there. Look at that. How cool is that? So cool. Look, an old nail. That's, well, cool. that's cool. Oh, wow. That's hand forged. I see a little tiny dead mouse. I tried to look down in there, I don't see. All right, I'll come down. Okay. Do you want to put something up here? What do you think about that motion detector? It'll make a noise. That'll if be great. you guys are okay with us leaving it uncovered? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. Yeah leave it uncovered for a couple nights and put some cameras up there and yeah yeah let's do it oh yeah what is that exactly what is that device right there it's a motion detector that is touch sensitive if there's something that comes near it with the sensors down here and hits this antenna right. something will go off so it has to be pretty close to it but worth a shot. I mean, nobody's been up here. Since we opened this and it's not been opened before, maybe somebody will want to get close to it. So we're going to leave this open and see what it does for the night. We got the rim pod up there. We should, uh, we'll get a camera on that. Yeah, angled like that would be perfect. Okay. I'll get it.
always like to scare myself before I go to bed. So let's go down to the basement. Freaking heater kicked on. Well, I always tell myself I want to get scared before I go to bed here, so I think I just scared myself. <laughs> I went for like a just a little walk downstairs. And uh it's quiet down there. Super, super quiet. Down where? Downstairs. In the basement? In the basement, yeah. You went to the basement? Yeah, I went to the basement. <gasps> I was like, I want to scare myself, so. They're all in their bed. That is weird. Yeah, Anthony's in his bed. They're all in their beds. Like, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it was like the back door that leads to the backyard from the dining room. And she was saying, no more seance. What? Yeah. No more and was, seance? And I was half asleep, half awake. I heard it. I'm thinking I heard it in my dream. I'm thinking it's a dream, but I heard it. <laughs> wow. I heard it, it was loud. And like hitting the door, like like throwing rocks at, like almost like throwing something at the door. I don't know. Hello. 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 Hello
because that light's not on. Makes a difference. Did it go in or not? I, I think it? it went behind it. I was chatting with my neighbor yesterday, and after we got done chatting, his phone just decided to die on him. And at the same time, his wife was sitting on the computer, and she ended up getting a scratch on her neck. Now, they've reported like crazier stuff than we have. It's just I was more documented, I guess. They've just learned to kind of deal with it. And that's your neighbor? Yep. Holy mackerel. I think it's where we're at, the property itself. The land, yeah. Yeah, the land. Like, everything here was just saturated with blood during the King Philip's War, so. What war? King Philip's War. Really? I want to walk the land. Yeah. Go out and explore. John actually had a spare box lead him to a cemetery that we didn't know about. Really? And the spare box told him, led him where to go. Left, right, keep going straight. Corey, Jen, and Bill, and others have told me that behind the house, we've is an old foundation where the kids used to play. And they said after they had returned from the foundation, activity had picked up. So yeah, we're going behind the conjuring house. I actually got, I brought a spare box too, just in case. Spirits, I'm trying to find an old foundation out here. Do you know where it is? Should I go straight, left, or right? Straight. You guys hear it? Straight. All right, spirits, which way do I go? Straight, straight, left, or right? Left. Left. Holy cow, that was clear. Oh my god. That was a clear left, guys. Did you hear that? Oh my god. Left, left or right? Right. Right. Okay. There's a right. This is crazy, dude. They're answering me every time. Do I go right or left? Right. <laughs> How clear is that, guys? Every time. What is this up here? This kind of looks like a foundation. Pretty sure it is, guys. I'm getting goosebumps out here. It's a perfect square, dude. This is it. This is it, guys. It's grazed out here. Holy sh I found it. Dude, I found it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This is crazy. So if this is just a cemetery, the foundation has to be nearby. I'm just laying up against a tree. Thank you for guiding me. This is crazy. Can you say goodbye? I 
I swear to God. I just walked by it, but I was gonna shut the light off here. And yeah, that's crazy. What's it say? 6666. What did my uh... EMF oh, detector say? His EMF detector said the same, same thing. thing. That's putting too much light on my face. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're normal here. The one wasn't normal, man. Oh, like, I'm getting chills. When I first looked at it, I thought. Let me see. Let me see the new one. The new ones are. Oh, it popped okay. right back up. <laughs> I can't the do it. The new ones are like this. Just. Oh, that's me. They're normal. See how they're normal? Yeah. Zoom in. Yeah. Okay. Zoom in. Normal. Yeah. But this one, I noticed it in the smallest form, like without zooming in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I looked at it and I... And you noticed right away that something was I off. I knew something was wrong. Then when I zoomed in on it... Okay, well, try to take it and I'll try to move. Maybe I move. Okay, don't move. I mean, move. No. No. It's literally, out of 20 pictures, the one. Probably the creepiest I've ever seen you as a human being. That is so yeah. creepy. It could sound like somebody was walking out here. I come through the kitchen and Corey grabs me. He says, come out here, come out here. And he's like, I'm hearing footsteps out here. That was a different noise. That Let's go like look. Yeah, he's the GoPro. Mm -hmm. We're gonna follow her. Give the circle. Okay. I'm just gonna shake it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Watch it. I told you. Why is that doing? I don't know. It gets freaking me out. Are you hitting something? No. Shit, I'm like super jumpy right now. Yeah, head. okay. But I didn't touch anything. Walkie check. He has a walkie. And it's all, it's it, looking where the dot is, it's way out here. Uh -huh. It's not like I just turn it on. That's crazy. And so you that turn happened it again. on. Yeah. Huh. I think something's like. Messing with you? No. Why would you say that? I think that picture, that Rochelle's picture, put me over the edge. Let's just make a note that there's no breeze coming through here. Right now, all the flames are where they're supposed to be, just in case somebody starts feeling like a cold draft like we did earlier. Everything seems to be pretty normal with the candles. We've heard you upstairs, we've heard you downstairs, we've heard you in the rooms that we've been in. That's exactly what we came here for. We know you're here, you can come out and hang out with us. Just let your presence be known. What is, what is their name right there, you tell them? You grab the camera? Stop it. 
If you're in the kitchen. What the? Oh. Dude. We've got cameras rolling up there. Is it outside? <laughs> Who's here with us? What, what are these in front of us? Can you say that one more time, please? What, what is this in front of us? If you don't want to say it, can you blow one of them out if you don't want to say it? Something came up to that door. It, the door did something. The door did something. I saw the door do something. It's open. It's not enough to open, open that door. What do you see? And the door was closed, and it, it went open. But how did it, like she was saying, how did it come from over here? I must have seen the door open, is what I must have seen. But yeah, why, would it, have, why yeah. would it open? It was two sounds, though. So did somebody, somebody bang on this door, run around, and fling that door open? <laughs> that quick. <laughs> because it was closed. I can see in here that it's closed because I can see the whiteness. The timing was just impeccable because I was challenging them to do something. Yeah. I was like, me and Brian don't believe you, you can make, a make one of those candles go up. It's funny because we all looked that way. Yeah, because there was a bang there first and then... Guys, we're gonna head to the woods if you want to take the barn. Yeah, go ahead. All right. How far you wanna go? Right here. It'll be good. Look at that one window. Dude, that <laughs> looks... It looks like somebody in it. The EMCCD camera is an electron multiplying camera, so it basically can sense photon events. This camera's government issue. It's something scientists use for everything from like counterfeit currency detection to viruses under a microscope. This has been adapted for paranormal investigations. Uh, there's a claim that some light anomalies fly out from the house, and hit the tree line and illuminated the tree line. So if it happens, we can capture it. We're rolling. 
Do you feel like you're being watched? I do, man. Like, I feel like there's a ton of eyeballs on us from the tree line. I do, too. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is creepy. What are you feeling, Rochelle? I've been tense since we walked in here. What's up? I came from that way. What'd you hear? It was a tree knock. It was a freaking tree knock. Oh, God. Oh. Can you hear that? Is there anybody here? Can you do the same thing that you did this time? I just thought I saw something straight up there. Is that you up there? I have this little device over here that I'm gonna put it far away from us, that if you touch it, it will turn into some pretty colors and it will tell us as well that you're here. So I'm gonna step back. It's like glitching. What is happening with this? Look at it. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the matter? Look straight out. It's like something at the tree line. And we keep hearing noises that way. Yo, I got three minutes left on my battery or on my card. I'm gonna go run in real quick because I wanna I think I wanna go to the trees. What do you guys think? Let's go. I'll be right back. I thought I seen something over here, like a shadow or something. We're recording. Okay, that's cool. So, look, there's a light right there. Oh, there's a light right there that, that just faded out. If you're there, can you shine your light again? Hello? Whoa. Did you see that out yeah, there? Yeah, totally. We got to get this recorded. Dude, there's flashes of light out there. Oh, there's another one that shined. Must, that, must be full. <clears throat> been, What's the up? GoPro, the GoPro stopped, but we keep seeing light. You keep seeing lights in the They woods? pop up, dude, out of nowhere. Are you serious? Really? They're like balls of light. There was one up even in the trees out, like up here. Are you serious? Yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll see it happen. You see one up high, dude. Really? It moved?
You seen these woods, man? They're badass. Yeah. What was that? It sounded like a We are literally hearing knocks from this way. Knocks, there's nobody out here. We just came out here. We were gonna go to the barn and we decided to come here. What are you doing? Are you sure we're gonna do that? Don't, don't come. I'm gonna go first. We're gonna go across it? Heck yeah, the noises are coming from that way. Oh, it is a snake. Hold on, what's the water look like? It's nasty. Dude, this bridge is sketch. Can, don't can go it. over. Here, can I see the GoPro? That water's running, man. You fall on that, you're gonna... Come on back. Stay there. Get back. Guys, I'm halfway there. Oh. All right, I made it. I literally have chills right now. I'm super nervous, actually. Super weird. Was that you? What the? Oh, dude, that's loud. Who's there? Did you hear it too? Yes. Right I'm coming back. Was it a knock? Yeah. I'm telling you, I heard the knock. It sounded like this. Here, let's let's freaking knock back. This is ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Here we go. Was that you? Oh! There was did a knock you, that Did way. you hear that? I heard the knock. Do it again, do it again. Was that you? We heard you. Can you do it again? Can you do this? <gasps> Holy <gasps> Holy <gasps> Dude. Holy Do it again, do it again, do it again. I did it again. Oh, it did it again. It did it again. It was right here. I'm gonna give that to you. here. I'm gonna give this to you. Hang on. I'm gonna do it again. If you can do that for us, that'll be great. Get the, out of get here. the hell out of here. How is that happening? Dude, come on. We gotta get we gotta find out what this is. That is Crazy. We're coming towards you. We hear you. What the? Jeez. Don't fall in that. Jeez. Guys, here's the girls. Come here, come here, quick, quick. What? Come here. 
Don't scare me. We're getting knocks. We would hit the tree and asked it to knock like back. It was literally doing it back. You ain't kidding when you think there's like eyes all over you and things are looking at us. Did you hear that? Sounds like an Indian flute or something. Guys, guys, comes back that way. That's a, that's a call. That's tribal. That's where I. That sounds like it's coming from where I just was. Like way back there. Holy shit! Who would be doing that? You guys. You guys. I don't know what to say, other than I feel like I'm being watched from every angle. Things are knocking on command when we're asking. It's unreal here. I'm lost right now. God, the rim pod's hey, going Brian. off. The rim pod's going off. <laughs> the rim pod. <laughs> what? <laughs> The rim pod's going off. No. The rim pod's going off. It's it's going. Look at that. I'm scared. It's going. It's going off. Whoa. All right. Okay, just move the camera, just so you know. It's okay. That's like something's just grabbing it. That thing's going off. I told you that it wasn't going to leave us alone. We got the GoPro now. The rim pod's going off. <laughs> Freaking attic. We're literally, it's like going crazy right now. Hey, do you know what that is? I want to see, but I'm also scared to stick my head up. <sighs> Can you see the lights, Marshall? Yeah. It's not touching anything. Holy moly. 
Mm. Oh, wait, should we do an EVP session or Things something? Things crazy. Like, what, yeah. What's the purpose of putting a thing there and then not do anything? <gasps> Feels like it's in the room with us. There's no way I can close my eyes now. This place is not wanting us to sleep. Whatever is here, stays here. Yeah, whatever is here, stays here. So it's been a few weeks now since we've gotten back from our shoot and things are happening here that were happening there. Vera's not sleeping. I've been having a lot of nightmares. And very vivid nightmares, very vivid dreams. Like I'm actually back at the farmhouse being harassed by something. And it was so intense that I woke up. Well, as soon as I woke up, I saw a dark shadow standing right there in the corner of my bedroom. I'm doing this video strictly because things have happened since I've been there and I've not witnessed this. I've not had anything like this happen um, after any investigation that I've been on. It started with dreams. I have seen shadows that seem like out of the corner of my eye, like someone is in the house. My daughter heard a disembodied voice the other day. What happened? I, 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 when you were asleep, I heard a grinch voice. It was like, what is it? Wait, 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 you heard what? Just now? When you were asleep, it was Candy from over Right now? I don't know. My son woke up and he told me, uh, the lights were flickering. This is what it was doing, um, on and off, just like that. You see that light up there? That's what it was doing. So I thought it was odd. Then I realized there was something else that may make this story or these experiences a little bit more meaningful. I was gifted, I was gifted something. I brought a doll back.
I can't tell you if the doll is the reason why I'm drawn to the place or that I'm having, you know, dreams, lights are coming on or whatever, but this is a first. I did bring home some dirt from the conjuring house. I have this, I brought this home. This is the nail from the attic that we opened up. I'm just wondering if we've immersed ourselves too far. I hope not. I really, really hope that this is all in our heads. What's going on? What is that? Is that toy going off on its own? That's kind of creepy, huh? Come on. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun.